What's up peeps? Welcome back to another episode of PA Trout Films. I'm Brandon. It's a little bit of a change of pace here, guys. No Tully today, finally, right? <laughs> um, I'm actually out in Western Pennsylvania right now visiting my family. Uh, my, um, my wife, myself, and my brother um, all decided to make the trip out. So got in the car, got the puppy loaded, made about a little over a five hour drive out to um, the Western PA area. Like I said, I'm up here. My parents have a delayed harvest water kind of near their house. It's called the Nishanet Creek. Um, you know, figured I, I think it's 2.7 miles of a delayed harvest. So decided to come out, take a shot, see if I could catch any fish here today just for a couple hours. Uh, everyone was basically still sleeping when I left the house. My mom and dad had just woken up and everything. Um, I know my dad was potentially going to come out here this morning with me, but unfortunately he just didn't feel like coming out because it is a little bit rainy this morning. So don't blame him. But uh, anyways, just wanted to fill you guys in real quick as to where I'm finally at because you'll see obviously it's going to be a little bit of a different location. So obviously comment below if you guys have any questions, but hopefully looking forward to catching some fish here today and uh, showing you some fun uh, some fun catches i think they did stock this water potentially last weekend um and i think they normally stock it with rainbows browns and goldens um so who knows honestly at this point but all right guys as soon as i get on the water bring you on the chest obviously i'll start making some casts and i'll uh bring you back all right guys see you soon yesterday trying to catch some fish um, but unfortunately with the uh, fact that they just stocked it I think the fish really needed the opportunity just to move around a little bit plus it was being pounded I mean there was like on the bank here um, just line after line after line of person um, literally just throwing a line in so there was really no place for me to really fish uh, didn't end up catching anything unfortunately I think I hooked into maybe two fish um, and just barely was able to keep them on so I, mean, I, even, I even switched it up was throwing a nymph was throwing streamers so throwing a wide variety of different things but all right guys anyways as uh, soon as i get on the water bring on the chest and everything i'll start making some casts and uh hopefully we can start catching some fish here don't have much time to fish uh, it is sunday so i do actually actually have to get ready to you know make my way back to eastern pa um, so I'm only going to fish for about an hour here and then I'm going to go home, spend the rest of my time, you know, with my family in the morning and then obviously head home. So, alrighty guys, I'll bring you back as soon as I start making some casts and we'll go from there. All right. See you soon. I bet you, uh, actually no, it is on the greeny weenie. Yeah, exactly, right? And I'll be honest, he took it right at the bank here, so. Just, I think he's a decent one, actually, for a stalker. All right, guys, we got a fish on. Ooh. 
All right, guys. Well, he took the greeny weenie here. Yeah, it's actually pretty uh, chunky, believe it or not. I'm surprised. Give me a little bit of a fight here. Come here, buddy. Get up in that current and come over. go definitely one of the stalkers that one's been eating good though that's for sure get that little grainy weenie right in the mouth there you guys can see that there we go guys nice big fatty holy to the depths. All right, peeps. Figured I'd just quick fill you in here as to what I'm using while I'm tying on a new fly. I just uh, got snagged and lost my bottom fly here so um, as you guys can see it's raining a little bit fighting some lovely weather um, so I am using a squirmy wormy and a greeny weenie I did catch that rainbow on a greeny weenie really at this point guys I'm trying to throw flies that are really bright colored um, I don't know if you guys can tell in the video or not, but the water is really, really blown out right now. Um, obviously, that's due to the fact, one, it's raining, and two, I guess, uh, they've had a lot of uh, warm weather up here this past week, and they had a lot of snow melt off, which obviously, you know, ran into the creeks, which caused them to get really blown out. So for me, that means I have to throw stuff that's really bright colored, and hopefully they'll take it. Especially knowing that they're stalkers right now, considering they just stalked them yesterday. Which I'm so surprised that I wasn't able to pick off any yesterday. At least I was able to get one today. But I just wanted to come out here this morning for, you know, an hour or two while everyone was still sleeping and see if I could pick something else off. You know, at least break the skunk. But, um... Yeah, uh, fill you in real quick on the conditions. From what I'm told, I guess right now the water's about a foot above average, and obviously it's really blown out from all the, the melt off and the, the rain they've been having. So, yeah, a little bit of a update. Obviously I'm not in the water right now because with them just stocking yesterday, all these fish are just sitting right up on the bank here. So I'm really just trying to see if I can catch their attention with any of these patterns. and get a fish on all right peeps i just want to say thank you for watching today's video definitely going to be a little bit of a shorter one as you guys can see um unfortunately didn't really catch much only caught that one little rainbow out of the two days that i was here you know um definitely makes sense though considering the fact they just stocked the waters yesterday so i really gotta you know allow the water or excuse me allow the fish to have the opportunity to kind of swim around typically it takes them about like you know four to five days to obviously kind of get acclimated to their different settings um i was throwing a you know wide variety of different patterns yesterday um basically through like almost every bug in my box i felt like um and then i actually even switched over to streamers and was throwing around some woolly buggers and some leech patterns and just no avail um so decided to come out this morning for about you know an hour or two Try to catch a fish, which obviously I did, so I feel, you know, accomplished. And I'm able to make a quick video for you guys. So, at least you guys, you know, have, will have that footage of, um, you know, them actually kind of stocking the water a little bit. It was a really cool experience. I um, really enjoyed it. I actually took a bucket myself and, and stocked 
um, the water, which was really cool to do, you know, especially on my end. Uh, I've never done that before and always wanted to, believe it or not. Always wanted to help volunteer, even though it's not my local water, but I'm a fly fisherman. It doesn't hurt to just kind of help out the community. So, all right, guys, I'm not going to continue rambling on here. Just want to, you know, thank you guys for watching today's video. I always appreciate it. Definitely like for more awesome content. Like I said, the more you guys like these videos, the more I can get them out to other people to see. Uh, obviously, subscribe for more awesome content like always, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. All right, guys. Peace.